You have a talk that's titled, Everything I Wish I Knew When I Started Using GitHub. So when and how did you start using GitHub? Uh, so I started using GitHub back in 2009. Uh, I was in university. Version control wasn't taught there, at least not at uh, the level I was at right now, or <laughs> right then. Yeah. And my my friends started playing around with Ruby and Rails and open source projects, and they encouraged me to kind of expand beyond my regular coursework. So I got into Ruby, got into Rails, started working on projects with them. Uh, I think I signed up as part of collaborating actually on a team project. We were doing some human computer interaction work, uh, and we had to kind of share and collaborate some of our code, and GitHub was the place to do that. So Linux gets a lot of the attention, but was the development of Git just as important in your mind? Uh, I think it was, because if when, when, when Linux reached its kind of threshold of, of the amount of work that was being done on it, uh, they needed a different version control tool, and they tried some others, and then they built Git. Or, or you know, they, Git was being built to alleviate some of those issues that they had. And so you, you see, kind of as true with a lot of open source projects, the problems that people deal with, uh, or problems that people have, are alleviated by the, the solutions that they build. Then they share that with the community, and then it becomes a much more rich and vibrant project. So I think Git is just as important as, as Linux, but uh, without Linux, you wouldn't have had Git. Sure, right. Vice versa, I, That's I think, true. with the development there. Is there an aspect of GitHub's development that surprised you? Yeah, and I, I think it's still surprising to a lot of people. We just did a blog post on this a, a couple weeks ago. It's about how we actually build and deploy our applications. Uh, so we have a really big philosophy on what we call chat ops. And chat ops are that most of our operations work happens in chat. Uh, we, we have this open source project called Hubot. Um, and Hubot is a bot that sits in chat. He helps us deploy our servers, he helps find out what the build status of code is, he helps us know when a branch has been open, when a pull request has been open, uh, all that kind of work. And so what happens is as a uh, operations, or as, a, as an ops person, when I want to redeploy the site or deploy a different app, everyone else can see that I'm doing that work. So instead of having one terminal to one person, it's almost like you have a shared terminal hmm. that everyone's watching at at a single time. So when we have a big outage or we're being DDoSed or whatever it is, a lot of people will jump into a certain chat room and just watch the magic of the ops team and everyone pile into this, other infrastructure team and everything, and everyone come together of how we're developing software, developing these, these workflows to fix these problems that we run into. And it's the same for keeping the site up versus running your own internal small project. That's so that part's kind of awesome. Uh, is that a cultural change? I mean, uh, to get people to convene on a place and observe and participate. Uh, it, it, we, we encourage people to do that right away, yeah. and you see that everyone's doing it, so you're very encouraged to do that yourself. Okay. Um, and so it was a cultural change for me because I, I come into this place. There's a lot of people who I grew up with open source are coming out of college with open source, really admiring a lot of these people. And then I'm in the same room with them, watching them type the commands, and then someday I might have to type those commands. It's a little scary at first, but you know the onboarding that we have with the buddy, we have buddies that help you out um, on the teams that you're on, really encouraging the, those workflows. Because if you don't do it in chat, no one else can see it. There's no, um, yeah, tying it back to the things that you've actually done. So it's just reinforced. Yeah, it's, everyone does it, and right. we're, we encourage that and talk about the advantages of it, right? So. Last question for you. What people sure. or projects are you following these days? So there's a, there's a couple big things that have been happening in open source that I think are cool. Um, Microsoft with its .NET development kind of going more and more towards GitHub and open sourcing that work uh, is really awesome. I really like the work um, on Atom and Electron, those two open source projects that we have. Electron being the app that allows other companies like Facebook to have Nuclide and you have Mapbox that has their own desktop client. Uh, Slack for Windows is built on Electron. So you have these desktop apps being built with hmm. a uh, open source project. Uh, but then kind of on the more personal side, there's a um, there's an organization called Git Game. And Git Game has Git Game and Git Game V2. Those kind of teach people in the terminal how to use Git uh, and just become better at that. And I think those are fun projects to see. Um, and then also as a as two developers, Muan, who's who works at GitHub, she has a lot of really fun projects that she puts on GitHub. But it's a really good example of ways to work on projects at GitHub. The the workflows that she has and the way she codes is you know showing that here's this project, like her Moji Bar. It's actually built on Electron as well. It's a desktop little menu icon that if you need to get a quick access to an emoji, 
you can just fire up the desktop icon <laughs> or desktop app and like, oh yeah, it's right. like I need something with um, smiling. And right. so I'll go find that and copy and paste. <laughs> it puts it on your clipboard. Um, and then Max Ogden, he's really uh, prevalent in the Node community and a lot of work that he's done with them and really helping out with things like Node School. I love seeing that kind of stuff with uh, building up the communities and, and stuff like that. So Great. those well, are a lot of fun. Thank you so much for being with us, appreciate it. You're welcome, thank you.